Right, so this is part three, the final part of uh, my videos on the Shepak Braille saw. Just wanted to point out this one little improvement I made. Um, comes with these joining bars, so you can put together two 1.4 meter rails. They're a bit rubbish to be honest, and I think most rails are, even the first tool ones, people claim that they kick out a little bit half a mil to a mil. In reality I never ever use it. I think at the beginning I got a bit excited and I I made these which are essentially two there's two thin bars there and they because there's two as you screw the Allen bolts see I've got these Allen bolts in here as you screw them in they sort of push each other apart and they tighten up so you can loosen them off slide them into the next rail then tighten them up and as they do they, they effectively clamp in position they work much better than the ones that are supplied but like I say not many chippies use them if you really do want a long cut you can use a three meter rail so what this video is actually about is this physical splinter guard I'll just grab one I've got a new one here where is that? Okay, so this is the new one. About 20 quid, 20 odd quid for five meters. So, in the big scheme of things, it's not expensive when you run the job, but as I say, I try and get the most out of every last little more so I don't want to waste materials or plastics all going to go to landfill so I do think about that and this one although it's got like little notches out of it it just generally wears down so what we're going to do is we're going to just shift that over and get another couple of runs out of it and this is going to pull it off Tape off and this sticky tape is you see there the brand Mammoth Mammoth double sided tape that's one of the better ones I've found. What you have to do is make sure you get all the residue off. Get your tape off first. Still pretty sticky. So even though I've taken the tape off, I still need to get this, this residue off. You just have to keep, I used to find a sharp chisel or a standing blade, works best. Right, so you've got all of that off of there. Spirits and just clean that up. So the rest of it. And this doesn't have to be perfect, but at the ends, the most important thing is the ends because that's where it tends to peel off. Right, it's going to wipe that down, dry that off. And as I say, I'm not going to bother 
putting a new one on because what I've got to do is shift this one over. Again, give that a clean. See how wide the tape is on this one. Slightly wider. So what I do, don't need that. Just gonna place that. Just first do a quick dry run. So we want a new see where the old cut edge is. You can see it's a chunks taken out of it there. So that was the way it was on, and that was where the old adhesive was. So I'm literally just going to shift it over so that I'll take a rough guess. So where my blade falls, that's going to cut a new straight line. So let's now peel this off. Back in. stuff is pretty grippy so you can make sure you get it right and the final step will be just to lay that onto a piece of material just as a Sort of rough cut, uh, an initial cut, and then you just plunge your saw about five mil and just cut through that. Cut your first stroke cut of a sharp blade, and then you're good to go. Awesome.